Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minimath, and today we're going to learn about simplifying radical expressions. So if I was given this expression, 4 times the square root of 36, x squared times y to the third times z to the fourth, okay? I'm going to break this down. All right, 36 is just 6 times 6, and each 6 here is 2 times 3, and 3 times 2 x squared is x times x, y to the third is just y times y times y, and z to the fourth is just z times z times z times z. Okay, so I've broken this down, everything inside the square root here, uh, or prime factorization. Okay, so now let's go circle some pairs. I have a pair of threes, I have a pair of twos. Oops, there we go. A pair of twos right there. I have a pair of x's, I have one pair of y's, and I have two pairs of z's. The only thing left over, it's not paired up, is that single y right there. Okay, so now I rewrite this, 4 stays on the outside, and then I'm going to multiply that by each pair represented as a single uh, outside the square root. So we have a 2, and then a 3. All right, make sure we bring everything. We have an x, we have a y, we have a z, and we have a z. Okay, so we've got everything the 2s, the 3, the x, y, z, and z. Inside the square root, it's just left over, which is a single, single y. Okay, the only one that was single there. The lone ranger, as I like to say. So now we simplify this. Uh, 4 times 2 is 8 times 3 is 24. So we have 24. X, Y, all right, the singles there. Z times Z is Z squared. So we're going to put a Z squared there. Times the square root of what's inside the Y, or <laughs> inside the square root is just a Y, not inside the Y, it's just a Y. And so my final answer here is 24XYZ squared times the square root of Y. So let's recap. We're given here our 4 times the square root of 36x squared, y to the third, z to the fourth. That breaks down to be 2 times 3 times 3 times 2 times x times x times y times y times y times z times z times z times z. Circle my pairs. Pair of 2s, pair of 3s, pair of x's, pair of y's. Two pairs of z's. They're represented by singles on the outside, and we keep multiplying by the 4. That's so we have 4 times 2 times 3 times x times y times z times z. And the only one that was not paired stays inside the square root, which is just the y. From there, I simplify, and I got my final answer, overall simplification here, which is 24xyz squared times the square root of y.